Hello and welcome to another marvelous video. The 2022 Hellraiser reboot, a Hulu original, gave Clive Barker's iconic horror franchise a refreshing new direction, and the latest news suggests that more twisted nightmares from the Cenobites could soon be unleashed. Fans of the reboot have been eagerly awaiting updates, and both star Odessa Azion and producer Keith Levine have teased some exciting possibilities. With the promise of more blood, more chains, and more pinhead, a sequel could be in the works, and here's everything we know so far. Before we go into our explanation, we have a a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. release date. When can we expect Hellraiser 2? Although there hasn't been an official word on a sequel to Hellraiser yet, reports have been given out that one is indeed in the works. The protagonist, Riley McKendry, of the first film played by Odessa Azion, recently gave an interview with Screen Rant, during which she spilled some interesting tea. Being very secretive, she hinted at something cooking behind the scenes, saying, Oh god, I'm gonna get in so much trouble if I talk about anything. I've heard things here and there, nothing ever official, and I don't think it's ever gonna be official. But also, you never know. You never know. Well, while that answer is pretty cryptic, it's obvious the sequel has not yet been greenlit. What her words did, however, combined with what producer Kevin Levine very recently said, is a beacon of hope. Levine told ComicBook.com, they're already discussing the possibility of a sequel and remarked, we're trying to do a follow-up, and there have been conversations. It's going to be even crazier and more awesome. At this point, no official release date has been announced. However, if talks continue and production ramps up soon, we could possibly expect Hellraiser 2 by 2025 or early 2026. cast and characters. Who's returning? While much of the cast from the 2022 Hellraiser didn't survive their gruesome encounters with the Cenobites, it's very likely that protagonist Riley McKendry will be back. This is largely thanks to Odessa Azion's sparkling performance throughout the reboot, and given that her character survived, she's a prime candidate for the lead in the sequel. Adam Faison, who played Riley's friend Colin, also made it out alive, so there's a good chance he'll return for Hellraiser 2. Both characters were left deeply traumatized by their experiences, and their emotional arcs could be further explored in the sequel. Then there's Jamie Clayton's female pinhead, or The Priest, which was received very well by the audience. Thus, there's almost a guarantee she will be reprising her role as the lead Cenobite. Clayton brought the darker, yet calculating menace aspect of the infamous Hell Priest, and fans would love to see her again in the sequel. The rest of the cast remains uncertain, as most of the key players met their grisly end in the first film. However, Hellraiser sequels have a tradition of introducing new characters to Torment, so we can certainly expect a fresh batch of victims and perhaps even a new set of Cenobites. Lights. Plot predictions. What's next for Riley McKendry? The first Hellraiser reboot ended on a chilling note, with Riley McKendry managing to outwit both her treacherous boyfriend, Trevor, and the Cenobites. After Trevor's betrayal and his ultimate demise at the hand of the priest, Riley refused the offer to bring her brother Matt back to life, knowing full well that any gift from the Cenobites would come at a horrific cost. If the sequel continues Riley's journey, her character will most likely be much more emotionally wounded. The psychological toll of surviving the Cenobites, along with the guilt of losing her brother, could lead Riley Riley down a dark path. While she chose the correct option in the first film, the guilt over her past deeds could lead to a dangerous internal battle. In horror, a conflicted protagonist is always fertile ground for deeper character development, and a sequel could delve into Riley's trauma and how it shapes her future decisions. Will she become more like the Cenobites she outsmarted, or will she remain a beacon of resiliency and continue to fight their advances? Furthermore, the remake concluded with Roland Voigt, the hedonistic millionaire, getting changed into a Cenobite after pursuing ultimate pleasure and power. This thread could be developed further in the sequel, either positioning Void as a strong new rival for Riley or an ally for the Cenobites. What we know so far. Updates from behind the scenes. The most optimistic update comes directly from producer Keith Levine of Hellraiser. He acknowledged that there are still a number of talks going on for the movie sequel. According to Levine, he and his team are highly passionate about exploring more stories in the Hellraiser universe, and the creative team hopes to push boundaries even more with the sequel. This update is positive news for those who love the 2022 movie. It appears the creative team is determined to deepen the scary universe they established and add more Cenobite lore. With director David Bruckner still participating in the discussions. Fuck you, dude, let's go! Come on! 
Potential Cenobites and Horror Elements What can we expect? One of the reasons for the excitement surrounding the Hellraiser reboot involved the redesign of the Cenobites. The creatures were iconic and grotesque, designed with great attention to detail. We hope a more nightmarish version of these will continue to appear on the silver screen. While it's almost certain that the priest will return as head of the Cenobites, fresh, much more terrifying presences could also be introduced. The Hellraiser movies are renowned for their complex and terrifying designs. Thus, in this movie, the creative team might progress further in the world of horror. For their explanation of the Hellraiser mythology, including a deeper look at the origins of the Lament Configuration puzzle box and the Cenobites labyrinthine universe, may also be included in the sequel. Producer Kevin Levine suggested broadening the universe, implying deeper allusions to the original Clive Barker mythology. Fan expectations. Will the sequel fix the original's flaws? Even though the overall consensus for the 2022 Hellraiser reboot was good, it came with its fair share of criticisms. Many criticized the very emotional landscape and the character development. A few thought that Riley McKendry's development was not proper. A sequel could thus be used to outline the deep emotions of Riley by displaying her scars. With a more balanced protagonist to accompany its trademark body horror and psychological tension, Hellraiser 2 might be the result of more cinematic transference than its prequel. If the sequel draws less lessons from Hellbound Hellraiser 2 by expanding the scope of the story and getting into the Cenobites lore. It might also please old-timers while earning new fans. Marvelous Verdict. That brings us to the end of this video. While a follow-up to the reboot of Hellraiser isn't confirmed yet, star Odessa Azion and producer Keith Levine talking about it makes it sound like a promising sign. This bodes well for an instant return to the nightmarish world of the Cenobites, more gruesome horror, intricate lore, and perhaps even more depth into Riley McKendry's emotional journey await. As we await the authorities speaking out officially and more information coming in, we know that if it does happen, it will be even crazier and more awesome than the 2022 reboot. Stay ready for more updates dates and get ready for another round of hellish delights from Hellraiser. Which is your favorite Hellraiser movie? Let us know in the comments below. If you like this video, show us some love by hitting that like button and sharing it with all your friends. I'll see you in the next one.